Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm the Outreach Coordinator at Inspire Washington, and we're going to turn it over to Amy Lillard from Washington Filmworks. She's going to start with an overview about what Washington Filmworks is. Well, that's a good place to start. Um, hello, it's nice to be here. As, uh, as, I, as said, my name is Amy Lillard, and I am the Executive Director of Washington Filmworks. Um, that is, uh, I thought it'd be like nice to start a little bit about like an overview of the organization and what we do. And so I will start by saying that um, we have two divisions um, at Washington Filmworks. One is we run the production incentive program in Washington State, which is a $3.5 million fund to facilitate uh, motion picture production in the state of Washington. Um, we've had that program uh, since 2006 when it passed in the legislature at that point. But then uh, along came about 2009, we officially adopted the state film office under our umbrella as well. And so um, we have a whole host of resources under that umbrella to um, help facilitate filming all over the state. So things under that umbrella would be, we have a location database, we have a production directory. So if you're looking for local cast, I'm not, excuse me, not cast crew or vendors to work on your production. You can find that there. Um, we have film liaisons all over the state. So basically, you know, if you have a question about filming anywhere in the state of Washington, we have the resources to like help you figure it out. So um, in addition to that, um, we have a partner organization called Whip Smart which is um, a trade association to support creative workers in business. So if you haven't had an opportunity to check that out, it's got a bunch of resources for creative people working in the industry. So um, I think my next, <laughs> I guess we're taking questions along the way. So if you have questions, I'm happy to do that or happy to launch into what we're doing in Olympia this year. So hello yeah. everyone. So so far, we don't have any questions in the chat, but for everyone, just make sure you drop those in throughout as they come up. Um, we also have some new people who just joined. Um, but yeah, if you want to go ahead and get started with an overview of the bill, and then for those of you who are watching, if you have any questions, just drop them in the chat and Amy will get to them. Okay, great. Um, so we have introduced during this legislative session uh, two bills, one in the House and one in the Senate. The House bill is House Bill 1914 and it's Senate Bill uh, 5706. And um, there's several things in the bill that we're aiming for. And most notably, we are looking to increase that $3.5 million fund to facilitate production in the state of Washington to $20 million a year, uh, a significant increase. And there's a lot of thought um, that has been put around why that number. Uh, I get asked a lot, um, for those of you that work in the film industry or are familiar with the film industry, these incentives factor into how people make decisions about where to make projects. As long as I've been doing this job, like people will call the office and when they call the office, they don't, the first question we always get is this incentive program. So we currently have 3.5 million. It is the third smallest fund in the country. Uh, it has never seen an increase since the program launched in 2006. And most recently, um, the Oregon, our good friends Oregon, in, right down south, uh, increased their incentive from $15 million a year to $20 million a year. And Montana moved from $10 million a year to 12. Uh, we can always talk about that little place north of us called Vancouver, BC, which has that limitless incentive um, and generates a ton of work, obviously, each year. So, uh, you know, we are looking to be competitive, <laughs> to be able to uh, do the work that we, uh, you know, we want to do. So, uh, again, there is a House bill. It's being prime sponsored by uh, Representative Marcus Riccelli out of uh, Spokane. And in uh, the Senate, it is being prime sponsored by Lisa Wellman, who is the, um, from the 41st. Uh, and they've been great supporters. There's some other things in the bill too that are um, that might be of interest to this group since you guys are um, great advocates too and kind of know what you're doing on that front. Um, we are making some changes to the board structure. 
What's really funny is that when we started this program way back in 2006, we, we were talking about movies of the week for television, right? <laughs> Nobody really ever talks about, we talk about streaming services. We talk about streaming platforms. We don't talk about movies of the week for television. So um, those board positions were aligned with some like, you know, older positions within the film industry. So we're like updating that. Um, and then in addition to that, we are increasing the total amount any one contributor uh, who contributes to the fund can, uh, can contribute. So that goes from 750 to a million. So um, it's really, we have great momentum. We have um, had hearings in both the Senate and the House so far. So, you know, what is today? The 20, today's the 26th. So um, we got voted out of the Senate committee and we are now moving on to uh, Ways and Means. We had our first uh, com committee hearing in the House, uh, which was yesterday. It all feels like a blur. It's all moving so fast. These short sessions move so fast. <laughs> so I'm like, it's amazing that we're just in week three. And so we are in the House um, right now, and we had our House committee hearing uh, yesterday as well. So we're hoping to get voted out of that committee shortly. So Again, just um, one of the reasons why we think that this is so important is, you know, the legislature is talking about wanting to support Washington's creative economy, and we keep saying film is a really great way to do that, right? As many of you are likely familiar, when you go on to a film set, it is this microcosm of the creative economy. You have music people, you have, you know, you have camera people, you have costume designers. So it's like this microcosm of all kinds of different creative people. And so we're saying like, if you really want to um, support the creative economy, here is a program that has a proven history of success. Uh, it is, you know, gathers a lot of creative people on set and provides family wage jobs. And so, you know, it is just underfunded. And that is what we're talking about. So uh, we're hopeful and uh, we're fighting the good fight as I know everyone is on Inspire Washington's um, entire agenda. So I'm happy to answer questions or let me, it's in the chat. Oh, um, I have meetings coming up next week. With, okay, I should probably read it. I have meetings coming up next week with District 12 reps. Any specific talking points regarding the North Central region? Um, thank you for that question, and uh, thank you for thinking about us in that conversation. One of the things that we are particularly excited about is the fact that um, we are doubling down on the opportunities for um, film production in rural jurisdictions, so outside of our two production centers. And what came out of the Senate bill um, is that we put an enhanced incentive. So the way our program works is you get a return on what you spend in state. If you film in a rural jurisdiction, you get 10% more, right? So that's one thing that we're gonna do. Um, the other thing that we're really excited about is it gives us the legislative authority to build the infrastructure around uh, rural filming. So it'll give us the opportunity to uh, develop big permitting processes and it gives us opportunity to do things like um, uh, work with our film li liaisons and uh, get more collateral in our location database. The beautiful thing about working outside of the production centers is it's not always driven by the incentive, right? It doesn't have to be an incentive project. We see a ton of work that goes, you know, into areas all across the state that are things like commercials. You know, you can have a national commercial go into a community and drop $150,000 in, in six days, right? So it's all good work. And so as we like think about building out the infrastructure in rural Washington or outside of the production centers even, that's the kind of work we're thinking about driving initially. So we're really excited about that. Um, for those of you that know elected officials, we had a great collaboration with um, Senator Shelley Short from District 7, which is just north of Spokane. And she was wonderful to work with. And, uh, you know, she was the one who advocated so much to get uh, to get that in the bill. So I was really excited about that. Is there any other questions? I can't, oh, there we go. 
Okay. I've actually got one. Um, so I am a constituent, well, was, but I'm pretending I am now still a constituent of District 41, and I'll be meeting with our representatives. And I know Senator Wellman is mm -hmm. co-sponsoring this bill. Is there anything that you think would be helpful for her to hear from her own constituents? Or do you think that because she already is co-sponsoring and she supports it, that we should focus our efforts on other issues? That is a great question. So um, one of the resources that I can point you to on the Keep Film and Wah website, keepfilmandwah.com, we have posted just for reference who has supported film bills in the past. So it's always great when you can walk in as you are talking about and know where a person sits or um, like what their feelings have been about a certain topic, right? So we have that list on the Keep Film and Wah website. Um, but for someone like Senator Wellman, I think, of course, you always start with thank you. Thank you for your support of film or the you know, arts and culture or whatever you're doing. But then in addition to that, it's a great opportunity. If you know if they're great champions, then you use that time to strategize. You know, what, where do you need help with this campaign? Where do you think that we're very active, engaged advocates? How can we help get this bill passed? What do you think needs to happen? And I know for sure after like working in, the political space for so long, they're always going to have ideas. So again, if you know them to be a champion and you know them to be supportive, I would use that first, always thank them because it's an incredible opportunity, uh, you know, to sit down with them and thank them in person. And then secondarily, like, how do we help you? Because we know that you are pushing this bill uphill. Yeah, it's a great question. Great, thank you. And I'm uh, for everyone here in the audience, I'm going to track down that link to that list on the Keep Film and Wall website, and I'll drop it in the chat shortly. That's great. That's great. Um, or, yes. Can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. I'm talking myself. Um, and I was interested in this bill because my son is going into uh, learning film in college now. Um, in addition, we also are doing some underwater filming um, as part of an aquarium project of our local waterways. Um, but I was curious in looking at film schools in Washington. Um, I was, you know, I think my son would look forward to more classes and more opportunities. It seems like there are some great opportunities in Washington, but he would you know, he is interested in film program in Washington and Washington colleges. Is this bill going to cover any of um, funding for college programs or college related programs? And I'm sorry, I came late. And so if I miss yeah. No, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Um, you know what? Interestingly, one of the one of the most trafficked parts of our website is our film uh, are the film programs in Washington State. I think that's so interesting. Like all these young people want to go into it. Um, what the bill does very specifically around education is it gives um, Washington Film Works, the authority, the legislative authority to do something called career connected learning. And uh, that is, you know, I, one of the things that has just kept me in this role for so long, for as long as I've, I've been here since 2006. Um, <laughs> one of the reasons why I do it is because I go into these, you know, these schools mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of times people don't think, you know, young people don't think that creativity is a career opportunity, right? And it just crushes my soul. So, you know, I spend a a lot of time talking to them there, but we're building out this portion of our website, you know, when the bill passes so that people can connect into it, right? So you can talk to people about, you know, one of the things that we would do as an example is, do you need to go to film school? Let's have that conversation and like have someone who's been in film school talk about what that is and, you know, what, what benefits does it have and what did it do for their career trajectory and things like that. So the bill does give us the legislative authority to do career connected learning. One of the things that I'm very personally excited about is working with the career technical and education programs across the state. Um, what I have known, what I have learned in this process is that, you know, each CTE program, that's what they're called, has to have their, uh, a, um, an advisory board, basically, to inform what the curriculum is. And, you know, Washington Filmworks is, you know, we know all the film things. 
And so I love the idea of, you know, putting together a statewide advisory board and really working with those CTE programs to make sure that, you know, those kids, those young people coming out of those programs are ready for work, if that's what they choose to do, or ready to go to school. And then secondarily, that they have the technology they need, right? So the technology drives so much of creative work, and especially in the film industry. And so just getting that into their hands so that they can, you know, learn it and experience it. And then again, learn about all the different aspects that, you know, happen on the film set. So it does give us some legislative authority um, in that way. So in addition to that, it allows us to do business development and workforce development as well. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is the media mentorship program part of that CTE initiative you just mentioned? Is that pilot going to continue to expand based on the success of those bills? Um, thank you for that question. I love this program. Uh, so our media mentorship program, we launched a pilot program uh, in 2020, which um, is focused on providing film industry education, mentorships, one-on-one -on -one mentorships with film professionals, and access to an entry-level position on a project that Washington Filmworks funded. We had eight program participants in our inaugural year, and every single one of them has had work, um, had work generated from their experiences in the program. All of this work is, um, is centered on providing opportunities from people who are from marginalized communities. So um, the bill that we have introduced in Olympia allows us to expand that program in meaningful ways, right? So um, one of the things that we would anticipate doing when the bill gets passed is moving out of the production centers. You know, that program in its inaugural year was around uh, the production centers of Seattle and Spokane. Uh, if the bill passes, we would anticipate going into places like Yakima and Bellingham and all the other places where, you know, where uh, these students are and connecting them to content creators within their communities. That's the idea. Um, but again, we need the legislative authority to do it, which is why, you know, the language that we put in the bill is so important that it stays in there and that the bills pass. But yes, 100%, um, we are absolutely planning on doing that once the bill passes. I love that program. And I sat um, next to one of, like one of the things that we did is we, we brought all of the participants to the Seattle, well, we offered the, the participants to participate in the, the participants to participate. That's, that's a five o'clock hour <laughs> that's a comment. Um, that each of the participants were invited to come to the Seattle Film Summit and we went to lunch. And one of them, you know, we were asking for feedback on the program and they just said, it means so much to me to sit in a conversation and see people and talk to people who are in this industry who look like me. And you know what, that means something and it inspires me to work harder and to do the important work that needs to be done to you know, knock down those structural barriers that exist in the film industry. And I'm really excited about expanding that program 100%. So thank you for that question. I'm glad, that, I'm so excited that you knew about that program. <laughs> Love it. So are there other questions? If there aren't any other questions, I'll go ahead and start to close out the webinar. I have lots of links I'm going to be dropping in the chat for advocates, whether you are already on a district team or you're not advocating this year, but you're you know, still staying um, informed on the issues. Um, the first thing I'm going to drop in the chat is the Inspiration League's bill tracker. So this has all of the bills that Inspire Washington is supporting or opposing that we really have on our radar. Um, and you can click on the bill to figure out its status within which committee it's in, if it's in the Senate. The house, um, et cetera. So you can keep track of where all these pieces of legislation are going. Both of our film incentive bills are on the bill tracker on the arts section. Um, next, I'm going to drop our link tree in the chat. Um, on our link tree, you can register for our final webinar of this week about House Bill 1058. You can also find briefing sheets about all of the issues throughout the legislative session. So you can find the Keep Film in Washington briefing sheet or our other briefing sheets from Arts Law and Arts Fund and about House Bill 1058. Um, and you can also find a link for the bill tracker in the link tree. Um, and finally, this one's going to take me a little bit longer to pull up. Um, I am going to drop the link for um, 
signing up to be an advocate in the chat. Um, we have almost 100 advocates right now, which is super exciting, but we're still looking for more advocates. So if you have not already signed up, please do so, especially if you live outside of King County. Those are some really crucial areas right now for us. Um, and if you have already signed up to be an advocate, please send this form far and wide to all the people that you know um, so that we can get some more advocates on our team.